In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Google Drive. Now, Google Drive is a very powerful business application. So you want to go to google.com forward slash drive. This is a spot where you can store your business files in the cloud. Now, a lot of times we hear about cloud storage. We don't know, completely understand what it means. Cloud storage means that we're storing files on the, inter on the internet so you can access them and pull them down from any device that you have access to. So if you have a tablet computer, you're on a friend's computer, you're overseas and you need to quickly look at a file and edit it within your browser, you can do that from like an internet cafe. As long as you can get connected to the internet, you can pull down the files that you've uploaded from your main computer. Now this really frees you up and Google Drive makes that possible. It's also a very good idea to back up your files there. Any kind of a hard drive failure, viruses on your computer that can actually corrupt all your files so if you're constantly backing up your files to Google Drive it's a really cool thing to do now you get 15 gigabytes free and that obviously won't cover all your files but you can pay I believe it's just ten dollars a month as it is right now and that's going to get you a terabyte of storage which covers most computer hard drives so there's lots of different ways to use Google Drive if at the very least you use it just to become more mobile so you can edit on your phone or edit from an internet cafe or wherever you connect to the web that's a great use of it if you use it as a backup tool it's another tremendous use of it so I'm going to get inside of Google Drive and show you exactly how to use this powerful tool so let's go here to Google Drive so uh, we're going to log in here and you'll just go to google.com forward slash drive anytime you want to log in so when you first log in you're looking at your drive so this says my drive and this is the introduction so notice they've got their uh, folder here a PDF in there that you can look at the cool thing is I just have to double click on a file and I can actually go through this file so now this is just a simple uh, get started drive for um, you know using Google Drive so it's a PDF that's in there and you can just double click on that again and open it up just like you would any other file on your computer so there's the left hand navigation here it's got the my drive they also integrate with Google Photos so if you clicked on that that would take you to the Google Photos you have they keep track of your store storage there you can actually upgrade your storage here and you can get a fair amount of storage here um, for very inexpensive over here if you really want to expand it so you can get 100 gigabytes a month for $1.99 or you can get one full terabyte for only 10 bucks a month you can get 10 terabytes for $99 a month so as you can see storage is cheap so um, typically this plan the $10 a month plan is going to be more than enough for the storage that you need but um, that's completely up to you so um, you don't have to do that you can start off with just the basic and the very basics of using Google Drive is go up here to new and you go to new folder and you'll call this whatever folder you want to call it so I'm going to call this folder my business word documents and I'm going to go create create that folder and now my folder is going to be created and notice it's going to show up here so I can click into this folder and I can simply go here and say um, right click inside of here so I can just right click here it's a really powerful feature choose upload file and I can upload files direct to that folder so I can go here to my documents here and let's go to my folder that I want to pull the files from so just like if, as if I was attaching a picture to an email or something of that nature or any other kind of a file and I'm just gonna click on that and we'll find Word documents. Here's a couple Word documents here. I'm just going to hit the control key to grab or to highlight each one of these. And we'll give it just a moment to upload there. So let's just highlight these two files. Click open. And notice here in the bottom right corner, it's going to show me the status of my upload. So those files are uploading their larger Word documents, actually. But now these files are up here in the cloud, so I can actually access them and edit them at a moment's notice. So I've got the RTF file and the uh, .doc file. They're both uploading as the file actually loads up. You'll notice that it actually has the green check mark there and it will also automatically appear over here. So it's going to refresh itself and there it is. So if it's a .doc file like from a Word doc, it would actually open up here inside of Google Drive and it would able, enable me to take a look at it and check it out. So that's a pretty powerful feature as well of Google Drive. So you can sort through your files there. So we've got our business document folder. I could create another folder here and we'll call this um, 
Let's call this one PDFs, for example. We'll go to Create, and it's going to create the PDF folder. Double click on it, right click, choose Upload File, and I'll grab the PDF there. We'll let that PDF upload. Notice that PDF's uploading. Really simple. It's a very simple management system, just like you're using the uh, file folder system on your computer. You could also set up your file folders the same way on Google Drive that you have it on your computer. It'll make it a lot easier for you to kind of decipher, you know, how your files are organized. So that's completely up to you, the organization side. That's going to vary by person. So um, I'm not going to show you that. But I did want to just show you the very basics of managing your drive. We'll get into another cool way to use Google Drive here in the very next video.